Okay, so I just wanted to make a real quick video. I am on the 33rd degree line and it is absolutely gorgeous. When This morning when we came, it started to rain and so then we went and had breakfast and by the time it was done, I just knew it would be completely clear and it was. So when I connected in with the line, what was interesting is I started seeing the spirals of DNA and I'm like, huh, okay. And I dropped the codes that I had received in France, but I could feel that there was tremendous resistance in the line. I mean, tremendous. And I'm, I'm working on it and I'm calling in all of our helpers and you know, everything that I know to do. And so I said, I said to Spirit, I'm like, oh, what do you want from me? What is it that I need to do? And what I heard so clearly was go deeper, go deeper, go deeper. And they kept saying primordial. So I went down far into the earth and I could see the energetic line. And from there I could see the blockage. I could see not only was a blockage, but it was like, um, I would say a taint is, you know, like something like, you know, uh, if you think about a stream where something dies in the stream and all the way down the line, the water's kind of yucky. That is exactly what I was seeing. And, you know, I worked on that. I got out the blockage and I started seeing energy go. And then I began to tone. And then once I was hitting certain notes and doing the, you know, the octaves that really is up the spine and helps to combine that feminine and masculine, once I started to do that, the energy started really, really flowing. And I was like, oh, and I felt into it and it was just absolutely gorgeous. It was just gorgeous energy. And so then I heard, it's done. And then I heard, look up. And I look up and there was this humongous flock of pelicans flying over. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen something like that, especially not a flock of that size. Like I've seen three or four, but this was probably 30. And I, it was just really neat to see it. And so I was like, oh. And then I, I went down to the water and then right out in front was a little seal or sea lion. I have no idea which one. And it was just such a beautiful display of nature and of gentleness and beauty. And so then when I looked up the pelican totem animal, it, the pelican is considered a symbol of self-sacrifice because they were said to have, you know, it's the way that they mother, the way that they take care of their young. But if we're really looking at the 33rd degree line, we're looking at the feminine and how the feminine has been squashed. And now in order for her to rise, the masculine has to rise too. And so it's interesting because to me, I take the symbolism as the sacrifice is done. It's done, we don't need to sacrifice anymore. Now we rise, now we rise. So thank you for everybody that has contributed, um, connected in. I really appreciate all of you and this has been beautiful and I'm going to continue checking on the energy while I'm here until we leave and to see how it does. And so if there's any more developments, I will certainly let you all know. Take care.